I'm Zach here at Truck Fab Resource to walk you through our steel selection process and some of the materials that we use in our trash cat roll off waste. So, taking a look first at the what I call stick length products, um, you know, your flat bar, your, your channel, your tubing, most of your trailers on the market are going to be made out of a channel iron. Uh, it's a strong product, uh, it does pretty well. Um, it's the most economical alternative. Um, but it's also the lightest weight, which isn't always the best thing. Um, there's one or two spots where we use channel, but for the most part on our trucks, we use heavy wall box tubing. So some trucks on the market will use a, a three or maybe a four inch thin wall tubing. We've upgraded to a six inch heavy quarter inch wall tubing uh, pretty much everywhere on the hoist at minimum. Another thing that we utilize in the construction process is laser cut parts. So similar to uh, you know, the plasma jet process, laser cutting is a little more precise um, and allows us to get um, just some more precision out of some of our parts. So things like our snatch block anchor that mounts above the winch, uh, it's a, a laser cut part with a custom gusset to reinforce that. Um, even down to things uh, like tube caps, for instance, um, oftentimes you know, to cap off that box tubing, uh, most companies will just take, you know, if we've got a two inch um, box tubing, we use a two inch flat bar, uh, cut to length to cap that off. The problem is it makes for kind of a messy installation. You end up with a big weld bead hanging out the side um, and just a, just a messy finished product. So we get our tube caps custom cut just a little bit smaller than the outside dimensions of the tube uh, to have a nice place for that weld to rest on. Um, and then that will get polished down smooth for just a really clean, sharp installation. Another process that we use besides you know, regular factory lengths and uh, laser cut parts is uh, machined steel. These are the internal rollers that stick up just above the surface of the rail on our Trash Cat 47 to allow the dumpster to ride uh, up and down the rails nicely. So this is a, uh, these are two custom parts that we have machined uh, here uh, in Southern Pennsylvania. Um, so this is a high grade steel alloy uh, with a hole for a grease cirque and then a grease to come out as well as a groove to retain the grease. Uh, and so then uh, a, a hole gets cut in the top of the uh, rail and then that gets slid up in and the axle inserted and then fully welded uh, to the rail. And then of course a grease cirque installed as part of final assembly. Here are some uh, bumpers awaiting installation on a truck. There's another example of one of the places that we use um, laser cut parts for our premium tail light package. Another place that we take advantage of some of the precision cutting processes, these are water jet cut parts. Uh, that's why they're a little rusty. Um, but these are hydraulic cylinder mounts, uh, at least the pieces to them. And so this is what we call a tab and slot construction. So it avoids uh, some of the, the human error that can come with just manually fitting, um, or even you know, stuff can get fit improperly to a jig. And so we get these tab and slot cut, and so they get inserted on there, so that's a positive lock. They get welded on the back and then down both sides, and so you have the strength of the weld itself, as well as these tabs would have to get sheared off in order for this part to fail. So it makes for a really strong, really robust finished product. Here at Truck Fab Resource, we believe that every part that goes into a trash cat roll-off waste makes a difference on creating a rig that works as hard as you do. So if you're ready to take that next step, jump into a dedicated truck unit, give us a call, and we'd be glad to set you up and help you find the perfect truck for your needs to help your business grow.